we're going to answer the question, what is cancer and why does it spread? What exactly is cancer? So basically cancer is an abnormal growth of cell and basically they lose the apoptosis program cell death. They don't die, they become immortal. And your body's immune system usually take care of the abnormal cell in your body. We do all have about 10 to 100,000 abnormal cells every day. But our immune system's job is to get rid of those cells if your immune system is perfect, if you don't have virus that is already trying to fight, if you don't have too much chemical or other stuff going on in your body. So then they keep growing and growing, you know, increasing in number, and uh, then you get a tumor. Mm. And so the tumor really is a result of a lot of years of things going wrong. Suppression of immune system, exactly. Cancer is a condition where some cells in the body are no longer responding to the signals that tell them when to quit. In other words, most cells that have a purpose for developing, they develop to a certain point and then they stop. Cancer cells keep reproducing. Um, so they, they keep growing and they can spread to other places. That's what's called a metastasis. So cancer cells have escaped the normal controls for, um, for regulation of how big a, set of, a, a bunch of cells is supposed to become. Cancer uh, is an, uh, a process that occurs in our body all the time. So as we are sitting and talking, there are cancer cells that are constantly created in our body. They do not always lead to the development of cancer because our immune system finds them as abnormal cells and eliminates them. And cancer cell is a cell that escaped biological control that uh, is uh, uh, to which all normal cells in our body are subjected. So cancer cells divide indefinitely. And also cancer cells are immortal. They never die because the genetic program that uh, uh, regulates life and death cycle in those cells uh, has been damaged. And cancer cells also have another ability. They are not happy in sitting in one spot in our body they invade our, uh, our organs and also they metastasize, which means that they uh, escape to other organs. And metastasis is the most dangerous process of cancer because nine out of 10 patients die of metastasis, not of primary cancer. So cancer results from a failure of the immune system and the majority of cancer patients do not die from the primary tumor. They die from the spreading or the metastasis of cancer. So it seems like we should be focusing on how to stop the cancer from spreading, doesn't it? If our army wants to stop the invasion of foreign troops, it must be able to communicate with each other. Otherwise, we can't stop the invasion. The same goes for our own personal army, the immune system. If our immune cells cannot communicate, we cannot stop the invasion of cancer. Cancer, by nature of, uh, of the thing, is the major breakdown in systemic communication. So what happens with the cancer, uh, as you probably know, uh, the body just does not see the growing tissue. We all grow little cancers in our bodies many times a year, maybe sometimes one th once a day. However, this growth is always controlled by um, the general regulation and management system of the body. It's, the body is computerized. So um, when the communication is running correctly and our lines of communication are open, then the body detects that growth on the early stage and suppresses it. Mm. However, when the lines are broken, that's when happens that the body does not see the developing tissue until it is too late. If the body is not aware of the growing tissue, if the communication is broken, Burning the cancer out of the body is not going to help because if it's burned in, other, in one place, it will come up somewhere else. Because the, the communication probably, hasn't been of fixed. Course, and you probably uh, met many uh, cancer survivors or sufferers who had cancer several times. Treated conventionally, it will come up somewhere else because it is a systemic thing. A cancer is a failure of the body's own cells to communicate with each other properly. You know, genetics plus intercellular communication. 
Uh, cancer is uh, the mal-expression or the inappropriate expression of your DNA. It is not something that has invaded you from the outside. So you, you, you cannot look at cancer with the paradigm of carpet bombing your body, declaring war on an invader. It's not an invader. It's something internally that is not communicating correctly at a cellular level. So you need to become whole. You need to heal, not destroy in order to overcome cancer. Now there may be extreme cases where there's a tumor that's so large that it's pressing on an artery or you know, a nerve or something like that where it has to be physically removed. I understand that. I'm not saying surgery doesn't have any place at all. It, it, it can have its place. But even then, the surgery is only a temporary uh, solution. You still have to address what has led to that tumor in the first place.